It was a time to celebrate. Three SM football players would fulfill a dream and sign letters of intent to the school of their choice. Maurice Himes, Derek Wilkins, and Brody Crane all enjoyed this special day. Hello everyone, I'm Paul Higgins. A dream come true even without playing a single down of football in their senior year. Principal Sherry Wood started the celebration with an opening prayer. What was to follow would be speeches by Coach Ruse and the three players. I think about today. Today is about talent. Obviously, you have to have talent to be in this position. So those are God's gifts. It's about family. And with family comes great sacrifice. And the family just doesn't extend in this scenario to your direct family. Host families, coaches his family, and brothers. Today's, today, uh, days like today are a testament to a lot of people's sacrifice. When I think of one theme, when it really comes down to it, it really comes down to gratitude. Each one of these kids, in a lot of ways, has grown so much as a young man. And their journeys have all been different. It's a testament to the school and the program that we have that we've been able to take in guys that actually none of them have been here for four years. But we've welcomed them in as family, and then they've done their part to be a part of the family. I'm so grateful to be a part of these guys' journeys, watching them grow. There's a saying, as a twig bends, so the tree grows. And I'm super grateful that these young men have the support systems that they have at home, amongst their friends. And then we try to provide a good support system here as a staff so that they can continue to grow. This is a, is a success for all of us. This is a success for all of us. Derek's been an incredible young man since he came here. Walked right in the door from Woodbridge. I'm so proud of the leader he's become. The future is bright. He's a young man that understands at the highest level what it means to be a student athlete. Maurice has come to us all the way from the other side, from Deutschland. And we're still working to get through some things. But I'm faith, I have faith that with time, he's going to learn how to get things done the right way. And this is a celebration to him and his family and the Varga family that are here supporting him. And last but certainly not least, and to my right here is Mr. Brody Crane, a young man that I love dearly. Um, Brody is an old soul. We talk about classic music, movies, Goodfellas, things like that. And I'm super ha happy for him. He's had a circuitous route, but he's found a way to get through it. And that's all we want, right, as parents, as supporters, as adults. We just want to provide a platform for the kids so that they can go on to the next best opportunity. Right? And these young men are a testament from their families to be able to do that. I'm super thankful for all you guys, Wilkins family, Vargas, the Cranes. Um, it's not always perfect, but I think we have pretty close to perfect effort, and that's what matters. Thank you all. This is a celebration to everyone, and God bless. Let's give a clap. Let's give two claps to the 2021 signees. Two claps! <laughs> Woo! Eric's on you. Um, I didn't write anything up. I'm kind of, I think, a little better off the cuff. But uh, obviously, thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, this day is pretty special for us. Um, first of all, I just want to thank my family, uh, my parents, for everything. My mom, the countless early morning random workouts and random locations, and my dad for the countless dollars he puts in that he constantly reminds me of um, just to be here. So um, thank you, guys, obviously, my brothers and my sister, just for always instilling that love for the game and always being competitive growing up. And it's... We made it easy to do this. Um, obviously, my coaches, Coach Ruse, Coach Holt, and the rest of the coaching staff and every other coach along the way has just made it easy to get through this pretty awful time. But um, they've made it very enjoyable and, and kept us working and just kept us motivated. And, uh, you know, my teammates who just made it so much fun just to play since freshman year. Um, all my best memories of my whole life have all been from football and guys from football and everything. And it's just been, it's been a fun ride for sure. And, uh, you know, I just... Kind of thank everybody. I think the thing that everyone has in common in those thank yous is they just all made it easy 
and I think that's the most important thing with, with getting through this because it's, it's long and it's, it's definitely a hell of a marathon. Um, it's not just one big sprint, it's, it's constant and um, everyone here makes it enjoyable to just be a part of it and it's, it's great all the people you meet along the way and it's just a fun experience and I'm, uh, I'm excited to, to get to go play for uh, the Navy football team and be a midshipman and get to serve my country afterwards and um, I think it's, it's just it's an enjoyable moment. I just thank everyone for being here. And, uh, that's kind of all I got. And uh, go Navy, beat Army. First off, I would like all of you, I would like to thank all of you for coming here and sharing this moment with us. I mean, I don't think you guys have any idea how exciting this is for all of us and how fast our hearts are beating right now in this moment. But first off, I want to start the speech by saying that this entire journey has been nothing but a blessing so far. I came to the U.S. with a dream of playing college football and acquiring a degree from whichever school I would attend. I want to thank my parents for continuously supporting me even though they are thousands of miles away and I still feel the love every day. I want to thank family Stegan, family Fulton, and family Varga for not just offering me shelter and love but also helping me tremendously in my process of growing up and becoming a man. If it wasn't for these great people I probably would have failed early on in this process but they picked me up and kept me going every day. Also, I want to thank Coach Collier from PPI and Coach Ruse for showing me how much I love the game of football. And most importantly, I want to thank all of you guys and the entire coaching staff. I honestly don't know what I would have done with, with the, like, without this family right here. You guys have given me so much over the past year and all of you have here, all of you have shaped me into the young man that I am today. And you help me better myself each day. And I don't think you guys really noticed that. I truly don't know how to give all that back to you, but what I know now more than ever before is that I have to represent what we all stand for and that is being a dog. Whether it is down here in OC or up at Mont Lake. I love you all with my whole heart and thank you. Uh, first off, thank you for everyone that's here uh, supporting me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I've had such an amazing journey up to this point. It didn't always go as expected, but it was the experience I was meant to have to get me to where I am today. I'd like to thank God for his continued blessings and always giving me opportunities to succeed. Everything I have is through his grace and his will. Thank you, Mom, for helping, me to help, for helping raise me into the man I've become, never missing a game, always taking me everywhere and supporting me. I would not be who I am today without her. Thank you, Dad, for always taking care of me and always being there for me no matter what the situation. I would like to thank my coaches, Coach Ruse, Coach Banducci, Coach Fay, Coach Holly, Coach O, Coach Love, Coach Vise, and every coach I've had the honor of being coached by. You guys have helped me grow so much into the player I am today. I'd like to thank my teammates, especially my senior teammates, for always pushing me on the field and being there for me off of it. You guys have been there for me since I first transferred here for my sophomore year. Uh, we've been through a lot uh, more together than we ever expected. And I can't thank you enough for staying through it all and being the best brothers I could ask for. Uh, thank you, Santa Margarita, for taking me in and giving me the opportunity to go to one of the best academic institutions in America, as well as one of the most competitive ones uh, athletically. And lastly, I would like to thank every school that took the time to recruit me. I really appreciate it. And it's a big thank you to Coach Wilcox, Coach Marshall, Coach uh, Browning, and every coach at Cal who recruited me and uh, convinced me that Cal was the place to be. I feel like I found home and I'm glad to be able to make it official. Go Bears. The entire Eagle football community celebrates this day. Once again, congratulations goes out to Brody, Maurice, and Derek. They may go off to different colleges, but they will always be Eagles. Go Eagles!